There's a dirty little secret in the newsletter industry. You see, everybody likes to talk about how newsletters get tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even a million subscribers, but how do they actually get those subscribers? Well, every great newsletter usually starts out with organic methods like using Reddit, Twitter, LinkedIn, or even reaching out to their own network. But how do you actually scale to 50,000, 100,000, or a million subscribers on your list and then charge advertisers thousands of dollars to run ads in it? Well. All of these big newsletters that you read about have one thing in common. They all use Facebook ads. So in this video, I'll walk through how you can set up your own Facebook ads for your own newsletter and run ads and grow like the big dogs. But before we begin, as a quick background, my name is Nick and I've actually scaled my own newsletter to over 15,000 subscribers. And every day I help some of the biggest newsletters out there sell ads in their newsletters. So if you're looking for help either adding subscribers to your newsletter list or selling ads in your newsletter, feel free to reach out. My contact info will be in the description below. Now let's jump into the whiteboard and see what this actually looks like. Okay, so before we actually jump into Facebook's ad manager, uh, it's important to understand exactly what the newsletter ad funnel looks like. So you're gonna start out with your ad on Facebook or Instagram. Now I know everyone says like, oh, my ideal subscriber isn't on Facebook. Okay, well, they're probably on Instagram, okay? Like half the world is on Facebook and Instagram. So chances are, even if it's a niche B2B, type of topic, they're probably scrolling through Instagram or sometimes on Facebook. So your ad's gonna be on Facebook or Instagram. Once someone sees it, they're gonna click on it, which is gonna send them to your newsletter landing page. Now, once they subscribe on your newsletter landing page, typically a lot of newsletters are using something called Sparkloop or Beehive Boost. Now this is optional. This is just going to essentially allow you to make back some of that ad money right away. Uh, so it's going to basically be a pop-up that says, hey, do you wanna to subscribe to these other newsletters? If you click yes, or if the subscriber clicks yes, those other newsletters will pay you for every subscriber that you send to them, typically between a dollar to $4. Now, a lot of those get rejected if they're not quality. So typically it's an acceptance rate or it makes up about 20 to 30% of your ad spend. So if you're spending a dollar to get a new subscriber, uh, you can expect to make back anywhere from like 20 cents to 30 cents on that subscriber. Anyone that tells you they're making back all of their ad spend, like they're spending a dollar on a subscriber and making a dollar or $2, they're full of BS and, and I won't even get into that. Next, or most newsletters make their money off of advertising. So they actually sell ad spots in their newsletters to advertisers that are interested in reaching their audiences. Typically that's on a $10 to anywhere up to like a 200, even higher sometimes uh, on the CPM basis if it's super niche B2B. Now, I won't get into selling ads on the newsletter and how all of that works. I can make a separate video on that, but if you're interested, feel free to reach out and, and we can jump more into that. Lastly, some newsletters get into selling their own products. Let's say a B2B service like an agency or a digital product or a course. This is sort of where most newsletters want to go because it means you're not relying on advertisers to basically run your business and generate revenue. So this is where all newsletters should aspire to be at. However, most are running off of advertisements. Now let's jump into what an actual ad looks like. So this is an example of a Morning Brew Facebook ad they're running right now to get subscribers. Um, it's made up of primary text, the image or video, what you'd call the creative, the headline here, as well as the call to action. Now I'm not gonna cover making creatives on this video. That's a whole other topic. And honestly, making creatives for Facebook ads is really not complicated. You can go to a website like newsletterads.co, uh, when you click on these, let's say the hustle, for example, you can then see all of the Facebook ads that the hustle is running right now. And just a little trick if they've, well, this actually isn't a great example. Let's go find a different one. Let's say morning brew. Now you can see all of the ads that they're running. If they've been running them for a while, it probably means that they're working. Uh, so as you can see, these ones that have been running since July 25th, July 23rd, if they've been running this long or the 22nd, it probably means they're working. So take inspiration from these and do with that information what you will. Back to this. Now, once someone subscribes to your newsletter here on the landing page, a lot of people use what's called Beehive Boost or Upscribe from Sparkloop. Now, this specifically is Beehive Boost. When someone clicks, yes, I also wanna subscribe to these other newsletters, 
they will pay you anywhere from a dollar up to five dollars for every subscriber that you send them now like i mentioned before a lot of those subscribers are going to get denied for not being quality enough meaning they're not opening enough newsletters or clicking on enough links in the newsletter so you're not going to get paid on those subscribers that aren't seen as fit however it is a great way to make back some of that ad spend right away and lastly here i just have what it looks like to actually run an ad in a newsletter. So when you see this at the top of a newsletter presented by Indeed, that means that Indeed paid Morning Brew for that ad spot to run an ad in their newsletter. Now, last thing before we actually jump into the Facebook ads manager, this is what a Facebook ads campaign will actually look like. So it's broken into or starts with a campaign that then breaks down into an ad set and then runs into an ad. So the campaign is actually going to decide what the objective is. So for us, that's going to be getting leads or new subscribers on our email list. Next, you have the ad sets. Now these are gonna be what actually target your audience. So if you are looking for a marketing audience, you probably wanna say, find people in this specific age range in these countries that are interested in marketing and then lastly we have ads uh, these are going to be the creative so uh, just like what we looked at over here for morning brew this is what your ads under that ad set are going to look like so without further ado let's jump into the facebook ads manager and actually get a campaign going now before we actually create the facebook ads you need to make sure your facebook pixel is set up correctly because this is going to actually track the conversions to make sure everything's working okay and make sure you're actually tracking when people are subscribing from your ads so to do this, I'm using Beehive. If you're looking to set up a newsletter or you're on a different platform, you should probably just switch to Beehive because I've done all the research. It's the best out there. I'll leave a link to Beehive down below, but that's what I'll be using here. So once you're in your Facebook ads manager, you'll want to come to the events setup, and then you're going to want to connect a data source. You'll go to web right here. And then next, we'll just go ahead and say next or Nick newsletter create. Now we're going to connect manually and then we're going to say meta pixel only. We're going to say next here, finish. I'll refresh this page. And now on the side, it's blocked out right now because I don't want you to see, but off the screen here, I have the pixel ID that I just created. Uh, so you're gonna wanna copy that and then you'll come over to Beehive here and in your website design menu, you're gonna wanna come over to settings and you'll go to pixels and you'll just go ahead and paste your meta pixel right there. Everything's good there, it's saved. So now it is all set up. You should be able to go back to your events manager and actually see when there's activity on it. If there's no activity on it, like if you start visiting your landing page or your newsletter and it says there's no activity, probably means something's wrong and you'll need to troubleshoot that. But it's pretty seamless. You just need to grab your pixel, input it on Beehive. Now we can actually start setting up the ads. Now, I wanna preface this with saying I'm by no means some Facebook ads guru or expert. However, this is not as complicated as it needs to be. First, you're just gonna start your campaign by creating an ad. Now, we actually want leads here because we want it to optimize for sending us subscribers and actual conversions here. Go ahead and click continue. And we're going to say manual leads campaign because we don't want it to just give us all its recommended settings. We're gonna go through and do it ourselves. Okay, so now we have our new leads campaign. We'll go ahead and do YouTube test right here. We don't need to worry about categorizing our ads because we're not doing anything sketchy here. Uh, campaign is leads, that is correct. You can see all of them right here. And then if you wanna mess around with the Advantage campaign budget, you can. This is where you're gonna set your daily budget. I usually like to leave it, if you're just starting out, go ahead and test it with like 20 bucks a day. That's usually going to give you a pretty good idea of if an ad's working or not. This is also the campaign-wide budget, so it'll split up this budget across all of your actual creatives or your actual ads. Going to go ahead and click next here we can go over to the ad set now the ad set is where we'll actually do all of our targeting right so for this example i'll just 
act like we're doing a marketing newsletter. So you're gonna want to send them to your website. Do not do instant forms. Instant forms is basically just a pop-up that says, do you wanna to subscribe to this? Great, we're gonna take the email that you subscribe to Facebook with and we will send it to the person running the ad. So you don't want that because chances are the email they signed up for Facebook with is not an email that they even maybe use anymore. Like the, the email that I signed up to Facebook with is not my primary email anymore. So I would not want newsletters that I care about sent there. So you're going to do website here. We have the pixel inputted that we just created there. Maximize number of conversions and conversion event is going to be subscribe. Now we'll scroll down here and set our start date. We'll just keep this as today. It's gonna have to go through a review by Facebook before it actually goes live. So you can just set that to today and then end date, just let it, let it run. You could always cancel it manually. Next, we can do some audience controls here. So I like to set this to the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom are usually the top three that I choose. Now, depending on your location, this is obviously going to change. So if you're in a different country, feel free to change this. I usually like to target the big three, which I call Canada, United States, and United Kingdom. Now you can show more options here. If we want to set a minimum age, let's say you're in a B2B marketing, like we were taking, for example, your you know, minimum age, maybe you want to set it to like 23, right? Because 18 year olds probably aren't in the workforce yet. All languages, you may want to set this to only English. English all and then we will so sorry I switched off the advantage targeting now you can leave that on it's probably the easiest to do but if you already have a custom audience set up that's great I like to target on interest so for instance on this one we could say marketing business and finance let's say marketing influencer marketing maybe we could do marketing, digital marketing. So you're gonna wanna add a lot of these up and you're gonna want to get your audience pretty large here. So it's cut off on the screen, sorry about that, but you want, you don't want your audience to be way too big so that it's like just everybody, but you also don't want it to be too specific because then Facebook doesn't have a large enough audience to really test on and figure out who your ideal customer is. So you want to give it, I would say at least like a hundred million people to go after in your estimated audience. And you also want to make sure that it's broad enough so Facebook can basically go find the people that you want. So Facebook is smarter than any of us, right? They're gonna be able to find the people that you're looking for better than you're gonna be able to target them. So once we're all good here, we'll go ahead and go to the ad. Now, like I mentioned, I'm not actually going to create the ad here because, you know, I told you where you can go find them. One that works really well almost every time is just the iPhone notes app. So you're literally just going to go to your notes app on iPhone, type in a catchy headline, like want the best marketing newsletter in the world, and then put a couple bullet points with something like subscribe to the newsletter. So this is where you're gonna choose the Facebook account and Instagram account that you're gonna run the ad with. These, This is just an old account that I have here. This is where you're going to upload the actual ad creative. So let's take, for instance, that iPhone notes screenshot. And then this is where you're going to put your newsletter landing page. So this is going to be the actual website. And it's usually going to look something like domain slash subscribe because you want to send them to a landing page where the only option is to subscribe to your newsletter. So once you scroll down here, this is where you're gonna put the media, primary text, headline, description, call to action, which I usually like to put as sign up or subscribe. Sorry, website URL. This is where you're gonna put your actual landing page where you're gonna send them and then just the display link. So if it were, let's say, www.google.com slash subscribe, for this one, you probably wanna put something like just Google, right? So that it looks cleaner in the actual ad. Now it'll give you a preview right here of what all of this looks like. This all looks good from here. Now your URL parameters, this is where you can actually track how many subscribers you're getting from each ad. So you can add a parameter here, like campaign source, you can say campaign ID, and then campaign content, you can actually put the ad 
name here. So on the back end, when you're looking at Beehive, you can see, okay, this subscriber came from this exact ad. So if you're running a bunch of different ads and you're just saying, hey, we're getting a bunch of subscribers and Facebook says that this ad gave me 10 and this ad gave me 20 subscribers, sometimes Facebook gets it wrong, right? So it's great to be able to go back in Beehive and say, okay, Beehive shows that I got 10 subscribers from this ad, but only 12 from this ad. And it's basically just another source of truth here. So you'll want to make sure you add those URL parameters here. I'll go up here and just give my added name so that it can actually add a name into that parameter. And once you're all good here, you're going to just go ahead and click publish. See, wasn't that hard? Super easy, right? The main thing is, is you're going to want to set up your creatives. You're going to want to test a lot of creatives. You're going to want to test your headline. It's all about testing, right? And once you start getting an ad that works well, you can scale that up, run it for a couple of weeks, and then change it up as things start to decline. And that's the video. If you like what I covered today, or if you have any questions about what I covered today, drop a comment below. I'll make a new video, or I will respond to your comment. And that's it. Peace.